guys, welcome to today's video. Today is an exciting one. You've asked for it. I've wanted to do it for the past year. So here it is. It's my makeup declutter. I'll try and keep this introduction as short and sweet as possible because I want to be putting the same introduction in for every single makeup declutter. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a timestamp down here somewhere if you want to skip ahead to the declutter, if you've already seen this introduction. If you haven't, because it's the first one or it's the first one you've seen, welcome. We're going to be doing a makeup declutter, going through every single item that I own and choosing if I want to keep it or not. I have purchased, I would say, a healthy 97% of my makeup, maybe 95, 95% of my makeup by myself. So of course, I'm not going to be as ruthless as people who get PR because um, I've bought the makeup myself for a reason. It's my hard-earned cash that's been spent on it. I don't want to be minimalistic. All I want to do is refine my collection nicely so I know what I've got, so that I can open my drawers and not feel overcrowded. I definitely feel overcrowded at the moment. I don't declutter my makeup. I haven't done previously, so here we go into the makeup declutter. Everything that I will be getting rid of is either going to family and friends, um, or in the bin if it's yucky, disgusting and old, you know, like cream products dry out and are disgusting. So it won't be going to waste, don't worry. Um, I do apologise, but I will not be doing giveaways or sending it to people, so please don't comment down saying send it to me, because I just don't feel comfortable doing that and also it, it just becomes a little bit complicated and personally I've got enough family and friends to distribute my makeup around to so it won't go to waste. Don't worry it will not go to waste um, if you're thinking about that but like I said I won't be doing an absolute ruthless declutter but I wouldn't declutter enough to feel like I can breathe again so like I said I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet so let's get into the makeup declutter. Okay, so this is my blush collection. Um, it is to the right hand side of the drawer that has got my face palettes and my bronzers in. Um, we did them in the last episode, so obviously I'll link them up in the eye up here. But this is my blush collection. So just like the other videos, I'm gonna clear this all out, take it out and we'll put it all back in. I have a problem with blush, as you can tell. It's very full, okay, it's very full. Okay, so that was a lot, a hell of a lot. Um, we're gonna start with somewhere easy and just get rid of some quick wins. I'm gonna start off with these e.l.f. blushes. I have six of them. I've had them for absolutely donkey's years. Absolutely donkey's years. I don't need them anymore. They've rebranded, they're beautiful. They're not moldy, they're still good to go. I swear makeup never used to go off back in the day, but they're still all good. I just don't need them anymore, so they're all going. Another one that I'm not really fussed on is the Model Co blush in cream. What is this? Oh, cream rouge, just peachy. Um, it's like a red blush. It's I'm not I'm not a fan of it. I'm not bothered by it. It's a bit too red for my liking. Um, so yeah, I want to pop that in the donation pile. Another one that I'm not bothered about is the MUA whipped blush. This one here. Um, it's in the shade Hedonic. Um, it's just a little too pink for my liking and it's a cream blush. I don't really use cream blushes really um, As you can see it's like it's a nice sheer color and it's very very whipped, but it's just not my color It's just not my color to be honest. Okay, we've got a Tom Ford blush. This is in the shade Plum Ombre. This is actually a really really lovely blush. Um, it's like a plummy beautiful Very natural toned blush just looks like this very very beautiful definitely a keeper I've then got the blush um, by Jade, I think this is, J-A-D-E, yeah, Jade, um, in the shade Bright Rose. This is a stunning blush, absolutely stunning. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. It's sheeny without being too glowy, and I really, really like that, so that's a keeper. This is a Carl Lagerfeld one. This is a really beautiful blush topper. It's really, really pretty. Um, it's in the shade... There's no shade. There's no shade, but it's a beautiful, beautiful blush topper. Really stunning, and I really like to put it over really matte blushes. Um, I don't even know if you can see that. The camera's picking up. It's like a beautiful, shimmery, light, peachy colour. I'm definitely keeping this. Here's some easy wins. My Benefit box blushes. I've got California, Rocketure, and Gold Rush. I love them all. They are all being kept. Another easy win for me, the L'Oreal Life's a Peach um, in 01 Peach. Absolutely love this, it smells of peach. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. It's just like this bright, 
or well, peach essentially, but I really, really like it. Can you even see my swatches? Um, really, really like it. It's like an orangey, apricotty peach. Really, really love this one. Definitely a keeper. Another keeper, we have the Milani Luminoso blush. This is just absolutely being kept forever. It's stunning. I love it. One of my favourite blushes ever. It's a peach. The difference between these two is this one's kind of more of an apricotty peach, and this one's more of like a true peachy, like orange peach. So really, really like Luminoso. One of my favourite blushes, definitely keeping. Another good blush is the Pixie by Petra blush. This is in the shade Beach Rose. Love, love, love this one. It's like a rosier toned peach. Um, I love a good peach blush. It just looks like this. I'm totally out of frame with all of my swatches, but it just looks like this. A really, really pretty kind of warm brown peach. <laughs> Another peach. I really like it. Another beautiful blush is this one by Kiko. This is the 01 Shade Fusion Trio blush. It's really, really pretty. It's like a rosy sort of trio. Um, let's see if I can do it all in one swatch. It just looks like this. And it's like a really smooth pinky blush. I really, really like this one and it's nice and small, so I'm keeping this. The Bourjois blush in Health 41 Healthy Mix. Um, I don't know. I don't know, it's a beautiful shade. I just don't really reach for it very often. It's like an orangey peach. I've got a lot of peaches. It's not really showing up very well. It's a baked formula. You know what? We're gonna get rid of her. She was loved for a long time, but I've decided it's now. Now is the time to get rid of her, so. Goodbye, my lover. Okay, these are really easy for me because I'm keeping all of them. I don't care what you say. These are my Essence blushes. Um, I've got the Essence Matte Touch Blush in 60 Cherry Me Up, the Matte Blush in 40 Blossom Me Up, um, 70 Bronze Me Up. Uh, oh God, this one is my favorite because it's broken, as you can tell. This one is 20 Satin Love. Love that one. Um, the Matte Touch Blush in 10 Peach Me Up. Um, and 30 Satin Bronze, another favourite, and a matte blush me up in 20 Bury Me Up. Keeping all of these, I love all of them. Okay, here is another really good blush. This is the H&M blush in Golden Peach. As you can tell, I love peach blushes. This is beautiful though, because it's like a really rosy, warm peach colour. Um, I don't know if that's in focus at all, but it's really, really pretty. It's kind of got a bit of pink in it, but it's very luminous as well. I don't know if that's actually focusing on the colour at all, but it's a stunning, stunning shade. It's definitely being kept in my collection. I love it. Okay, so the Kiko blushes. I have no idea whether to keep these or not. I have like these two very peculiar colours. One's more of a peachy colour, as you can tell, a peachy pink, I love that. And one's more of a mauvea toned. I wanna put them as a maybe, I'm gonna keep them for now and then see how we get on. So I'm just gonna put them here. Actually, no, I'll put them here. Another easy win are the Rimmel London Maxi Blushes. I love all four of these. These are quite new to me, to be honest. I haven't had them for that long. Um, I've got the shade 04 Sweet Cheeks, beautiful peach. Um, I've got the shade 001 Third Base. It's like a peachy pink with golden glitter in it. And I've got the shade 006 Exposed, which is this beautiful mauve tone. I really love this. And then this bright one called 003 Wild Card, which is this pinky red with a little bit of coral in it. Really like this one. So I will definitely be keeping all four of these blushes. I love them. I've got a few little samples. Um, I've got the Benefit Gold Rush and Galifornia. Um, I love these blushes. I think they're really, really pretty. The Gold Rush isn't quite the same as the full, and neither is Galifornia, but I've got both of them here in box blush, and I'd rather just keep them because they're really good for travelling, especially when I bring my little mini hula with me, so... I'm going to keep these. Another one I'm absolutely keeping is my Charlotte Tilbury blush in the shade Ecstasy. Absolutely love this. I've used this recently and yeah, I just absolutely love it. It's beautiful. It's a peachy blush, who would have guessed, but it's absolutely stunning. It's mine. I want it forever. I love it. It's staying. Another one that is staying is my Too Faced uh, Love Flush, Too Faced uh, Blush in Baby Love. This is the only one I've got. It's beautiful. I love it. It's like a rosy pink. I think it's stunning. I really, really like it. I've got no more arm space. Just looks like that. It's stunning. Can I say any more about it? I'm keeping it. It's beautiful. Another blush that I cannot get rid of is the Clinique Pop blush in Ginger Pop, 01 Ginger Pop. Again, it's a stunning, stunning orangey peach. I mean, at this point, can you guess what my favourite coloured blush is? Probably not. I mean, you know, I haven't got enough of them. Um, but this is stunning. This is absolutely stunning. I love it to pieces. It's going to stay part of my collection. It's nice and small. I love the formula. It's staying. The good old NYC Cheek Glow in the shade Lolita Pink. Um, 
I think it's just time I get rid of this now. NYC is not even a brand anymore. It's a beautiful shade. This is like your orgasm shade. But drugstore, it's beautiful. Um, but I just don't really use it. Damn it. Maybe. I kind of want to keep it. I want to put it in the maybe pile. I've got a lot of blushes. I want to put it in the maybe pile. I found another little elf blush. I want to just get rid of this one as well. This is in Tickle Me Pink. Twinkle Pink. Twinkle Pink. It's going. Okay, two blushes that are definitely staying are my Jouer ones. Um, these aren't exactly very old in my collection. I've got the shade Adore Blush Duo, which is stunning. absolutely love this blush duo. And then I've got the Rose Gold Blush Duo, which is this one here. Very similar, in all fairness, but I quite like this sort of shade. Can you guess the sort of shade of blush I love? I love these blushes. I think they're stunning. The packaging is beautiful. I'm actually going to put these in with my face uh, palettes though just because they're a little bit bigger so they're gonna stay there okay two blushes that I'm gonna get rid of are my Colourpop blushes and um, I've got the shade birthday suit and between the sheets I love them but they have dried out they have dried out there is nothing to them maybe if I can get some Inglot like revitalizer perhaps but they're pretty dry Okay, this is another little palette by Colourpop. This is the Mermaid Glow by Eva Gutwaski. She's like a YouTuber, I believe. Um, this is actually a really, really beautiful palette. I actually really, really wanted this when it came out. And they are beautiful shades. Let me just swatch them here. The um, highlight's a little bit too golden for me, but I'm going to keep it because I really like it. Okay, here are two that I don't know what to do with. So these are the um, Estee Edit ones. This is the... Dearest, oh no, hang on, the Ember Glow Blush. Literally never used it. Look at it, I've never used it. I'm just going to get rid of it. I've never used it. And this is the 03 Per Pink. I've used it once. I don't use them. I don't use them. What's the point in keeping them? I don't use them. They're going to go. Two blushes I'm definitely not getting rid of um, are these little relics. These are my Rimmel London blushes. This is the one 041 Bronze and 020 Pink Rose. Nothing is getting in between me and these two blushes. These were my favourites back about six years ago. They're originals, they're never leaving my collection. They're my favourite. Okay, here is another one that's a bit of a classic. This is the MUA um, Blush in Cupcake. I haven't used this in years. Oh, but it's really beautiful. I mean, it's just such a beautiful pink. I don't know if the camera's picking it up nicely, but I've gotta keep it. I've gotta keep it, it's beautiful. Okay, here's another one from Soap and Glory. This is the You Made Me Blush Blusher in Twinkle Rose. Um, what was I thinking? I never wear this sort of pink, ever. The only thing that makes me want to keep this in my collection is that it's the only pink blush I've got that's like this. Um, I'm going to keep it aside for now because I actually don't mind the formula. It's just the colour that's a bit weird, but I'm going to keep it aside for now. I've got another Soap and Glory one, which is this one here. It's the... Pink Pop and Pearl Blush. I actually really, really loved this back in the day. It's really, really pretty. It's quite light as well. So, I don't know, man. I think I'm going to get rid of it. I don't, I don't know. I don't really use it a lot. I'm just going to get rid of it. Okay, here's another blush. This is the Jordana one. Um, this is in Rose Silk. I don't know. Maybe. Put it on the maybe file. Okay, this Ted Baker one. Um... Mm, it's a bronzier colour. It's really pretty, but I've got another one here as well, a Ted Baker one. It's this one here in uh, just blush palette. Oh, but it's really pink. Do you know what? I'm going to get rid of both of them. I don't need them. People that don't have these blushes would be better off without them. I'm sure my family and friends can fight over them. They're beautiful. I just don't need them. I don't need them. Okay, here is another blush that I haven't really played with before. This is the Annabelle Minerals Powder. Um, how do I even open this? That is really super pale. I don't even know if you can pick that up. Can you just like see it right there? That's really pale. That's actually, dare I say it, too light for me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass this one on. Okay, the Manica Dar Step Three Brow Eye Cheek. Um, I have no idea what shade this is in. Doesn't actually say. Oh, trifecta, trifecta. Maybe that's the color. I'm not too sure. This is like a beautiful brown bronzy blush and I actually don't have a lot of these in my collection so I'm going to keep this. It's a beautiful shade. It's like a lovely brown sheeny blush. I'm going to keep it. I've got this blush by Ruby. Um, this is in the shade... doesn't say. 
doesn't say. This is like bright orange. This is actually a, literally a bright orange blush. Um, it's only small. I'm going to say maybe until we see something that's similar. I have a feeling that this Tarte blush here is very, very similar. Oh, I've got a bit of fluff on my finger. Um, yeah, I have a feeling this Tarte one is very, very similar in colour. Yeah, it is. Which one do I prefer, though? Oh, sod it. It's only small. I'm going to keep it. So that was the Tarte one that you just saw there called Vibrant, uh, which it certainly is. I've also got the shade Pop, which is this pink one here. It's very baby pink. I'm going to pass this one on. And then I have the shade Genius, which is a really, really pretty shade. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. I want to keep this one. And then I have the shade Royal, which is, I think, my favourite one. Um, it's like a really deep brownie nude shade. Yeah, I want to keep that one as well. So I want to keep three out of the four Tarte blushes. And then speaking in sets of four, I've got the four MUA blushes. Uh, well, there's actually more than this, but I've got four of them. Um, I've got the shades Blushed in Papaya Whip. And these are really, really vibrant. Like, look at that. Oh, I have so many similar shades, though. This is the problem. Oh. Thing is, these are really, really affordable. This one is in the shade Rouge Punch. Like, look at the pigment to these, and look how affordable they are. They're literally £4. Um, this one is in the shade Rose Tea. Really, really pink. And then this is in the shade Atomic Tangerine. Literally absurd. I think I'm going to keep this one here, Papaya Whip. I'm also going to keep... Um, I'm going to keep this one, which is Rouge Punch. And I'm going to keep this one because it's really mad, the Atomic Tangerine shade. And I'm going to get rid of tea, Rose Tea, this one here, because it's just a little bit too pale, a little bit too pink than what I prefer. Okay, on to some relics. Right here, we've got the Natural Collections blushes. Um, this is in the shade Pink Cloud. Problem is, is I don't wear baby pink anymore. However, there's such little left of it that I might just pan it. And well, it is already panned, but I might just finish it up because there's very little of it left. So I might just finish this off. And the same goes for this one in Sweet Cheeks by Natural Collections. This used to be my favourite, favourite blush. It's just so rich in colour. I absolutely love it. So I want to keep this one as well. You can see I want to keep this one as well just to get rid of it. There's only a little bit left. So I want to make sure that I actively use them. Okay, here's one that I could happily get rid of. This is the Bourjois 24 Hour Aqua Blush. It's like bright orange and it's supposed to be, I don't know, it just blends out to nothing. It blends out to nothing. It's going. Okay, we've got a ton of Colourpop blushes right here. Um, I love a good Colourpop blush, so let's just get opening and have a look at them all. Do you know what? We're just going to keep all six of the Colourpop blushes. I can't depart from them yet. Um, and why should I? I bought them. I'm going to keep them. Okay, something I am going to get rid of is the Trifle Cosmetics Lip and Cheek Jam. Just don't use it, really. Just do not use it. Let's have a look at it, shall we? Just there. I'm just not really into cheek stains, and I've got some benefit ones. Um, yeah, I'm going to pass this on. Okay, speaking of benefit tints, um, like the one I said a second ago, I've actually got the Go Go Tint and the Love Tint here in sample size packaging. I have nothing against these, I just don't really use them that often, but I mean, they're tiny and that kind of suits because I never use tints, so if I ever have to use them, they're small and they're not exactly taking up a lot of room, so I want to keep them. Okay, another blush is the Hikari blush. This is stunning as well. This is in the shade Flush. Now, these shades here... Oh my god, they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. I love them. The sheen on them is divine, especially this one right here. However, I'm just not really into the bronze bit either side because they're so pigmented. It's like a foiled eyeshadow. I'm going to put this in my single eyeshadows and see how I get on with it. Here is another thing. This is the blush crayon by Lord & Berry. I'm actually going to chuck this in my lip liners just because I can. Um... I'd rather use this as a lip liner than a blush, to be honest with you. Because I don't really want to wear a crayon blush. That's just me. It's going to go in my lip liners. Another blush is the Wet n Wild Colour Con uh, blush in... What shade? Oh, Mellow Wine. It's in the shade Mellow Wine. I can't remember how I felt about this. Oh, it is a pretty shade, though. Yeah, we're going to keep it. Um, I've got the Revlon Insta Cheek Maker. Haven't played around with this yet. Need to do so. I'm going to keep it because I haven't even opened it yet. 
This is the Apicia, Apica, not too sure, blush in pollen. I actually really, really like this. This is a liquid blush. Blends out really, really nicely. I really, really like it. It's lovely and pigmented, so I'm going to keep it. I bought this little blush stick um, by Universal Beauty, the Secret Flush in Nectar. This is a really, really beautiful blush. I use it quite often um, and it blends out lovely, so I want to keep it. Another cream blush I got from Sleek Makeup. This is a bright orange one um, in the shade Gerbra. It's beautiful, but I just never use it. Why am I keeping this? I never use this. Oh my goodness, but it's so stunning. It's so stunning. Maybe I could use it. If I don't use it before I move out, I'm going to get rid of it. But I'm going to keep it for now and give it one last chance. This is something that I'm definitely going to get rid of. This is the 17 Blusher Stick. It's beautiful, but I just don't use it. It's in a pink that I just wouldn't use, and I'd rather keep this than this if we're going to have a vibrant blush. So I'm going to get rid of this. And then we've got the Nico Pro uh, Liquid Jelly Blusher in Bali. We're going to get rid of it. I never use it. I never have. We're just going to get rid of it. It's nice, but... Oh, see on camera, that looks stunning. But in person, it doesn't. So, we're going to get rid of it. And then I've got the Bang Beauty Dolce Pink Cream Colour. I'm never going to use this. It's too thick. No, I'm never going to use it. I've kept enough. I'm getting rid of it. And then finally, I have the MAC Blush in the shade Dame. I think I stole this off my mum, if I remember rightly. So I feel compelled to keep it. It's like a purpley blush that seriously just needs to go into a uh, like a magnetic palette. It's harsh panned because it's so old. Will I ever use it? Probably not. I'm gonna see if I can find a place for this in a Z palette and put just put it in a Z palette. So yeah. Okay, so I've got a few in the maybe pile, specifically three. So I'm gonna just have a rejig of this um, and see if we've got any room left. And if we do, I'll try and sneak those three in here somehow. Okay, I mean, that is my blush collection. I've got a few big blushes to the side just here. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that here? Just here. I've got some big blushes here. Just because they were really doing my head in. Um, because they wouldn't actually fit in the squares. But I'm okay with that. Um, and this is my blush collection. My god, it's so much more refined. You can actually see everything that I own. And it's very, very liberating. I've got to say, very liberating. I'm very happy with it. And these were all the blushes that I got rid of. I got rid of quite a few. I got rid of one, two, three. I got rid of 25 blushes in total, which I think is very impressive. And this looks so much more tidy, refined. I can see what I've got. I've actually got space. I love it. And I'm happy that these are all going to good homes and some in the bin. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with this. So that was it. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's declutter. Was there anything that you saw that you've tried or you haven't tried? Are you intrigued about something? Comment it down below. Let's talk about the makeup. How well did you think I did? Obviously I'm filming this before I'm decluttering, so I don't know how well that I've done in this declutter. It could have all been terrible, but comment down below. How well did I do today with whatever I decluttered? How well did I do? Please tell me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Thumbs up if you enjoy makeup declutters and I will know to kind of maybe do it as a yearly basis a massive series every year perhaps by hitting the thumbs up i know if you want me to proceed with the makeup to clutter and i'll just cut it short if you guys don't like it it's absolutely fine so let me know with the thumbs up and down if you do enjoy this sort of video and i'll be sure to sort of take that information in and you know follow it subscribe if you have not already and ring my bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos i upload i upload every single week and you wouldn't want to miss out on any more content from me would you no. No is the answer. 
Thank you guys so much for watching, I really, really do appreciate it, and I will see you in my next one.